So this is a message for Bashar al-Hassad in terms of that which you are creating, that which is, we would say, a fear-based way of being, not just within the nature of that which is the country that you lead, but also within that which is the nature of the world. The world's eyes are upon you. And of course, in terms of the nature of who you are as an individuated being, that you are a person who can understand when you truly look inwards the nature of that which are your feelings and emotions towards yourself, but also towards that which are your family in terms of protecting them and affording and giving them a particular life that is free of fear. Of course, it is interesting in terms of the nature of how you are eradicating fear within the nature of that which is your own self and your own family, but that you are creating more fear within the nature of the people that follow you or, when you look at it closely, are told to follow you. So it is important that you understand the distinction because if they are given that which is their vote, if you like, or their freedom, then what they may do hmm, is vote somebody else in. So it's important at this moment in time that you understand that now is the time to change. Now is the time to implement policies and strategies that bring together your country, that bring together the people, to unite them in a way that such that you have eradicated fear within the nature of your family, that they can experience the nature of fear being eradicated within their life, but also within the nature of their family, and also within the nature of the country that you serve. It is not a matter that they are there to serve you. You have placed yourself in that which is the position to serve the country. And you understand that when you look in your heart you understand that the people look to you for that which is their, we would say, alleviation of their own fear of not surviving. When you bring your country together, when the rest of the world sees that what you are doing is eradicating the fear of your fellow human beings, then it is important that the world will see that and then come to that which is the aid of you. They will see that you are beginning to shine on behalf of your people, instead of what we would say is creating more fear within that which is your country, which is lessening, we would say, how your country is shining. So from a conscious perspective, from the perspective of being a conscious leader, showing your people how they can eradicate their fear by giving them free food, free water, free shelter, free education, free health care. Allow them to experience the nature of what it is to truly be alive on this planet at this time. It is within your hands. It is within your ability to open up the heart of your country, to give that which each and every one of your citizens desires peace and a harmonious way of living in the world. This is what we have to say to you in terms of a message from us, the universe, to you who are a part and an aspect of the universe also. Look deeply within the nature of that which is your heart and understanding of the energy that you are, what you are teaching is not that you are set on this path. The path can be that which is from your own conscious perspective, anything that you desire. So keep, we would say, examining what it is that you wish to leave in terms of that which is a memory for those that are within your country. Do you wish them to see you from the perspective of love or do you wish them to see you from the perspective of fear? The choice, of course, is yours. <laughs> Thank you.